taking a leaf out of Andrew's book. Read the end of the fourth chapter. Hector, you can't do this. Our fight is not with white people. Our fight is with anybody who interferes with our plans.
Well, in the first place, if you publish that story right now, it would absolutely kill Chinatown's tourist trade. You can't do a thing. I'll, I'll attend to it. You get the key and sign Yes, sir. Puzzled as to who it's from, wouldn't it be a good idea to open it? That would be a good idea. Bad news? Your life is in danger. You are becoming involved in a matter that does not concern you. What are you going to do? What any human should do with an anonymous letter disregard it. Is that right, Willie? Great thoughts of humble houseboy and honorable master run in self-same channels. Captain, have a sandwich and a cup of tea. I don't like tea. Only wise men can convey desire without naming it, honorable captain. Why did you leave so suddenly? Suddenly? Why, I, I wanted to get Joan out of Chinatown. Why? I had two reasons. The first, to keep her mouth shut. And the other, to keep her out of danger. What danger were you in? whatsoever, Captain. Marty's jealous. The danger exists only in his mind. I'm afraid you'll have to do some explaining, Andrews. What do you mean? Some of these disturbances in Chinatown are strikingly similar to the situations in your book. Dr. Wu and I would like to have a little talk with you at his bazaar. Shall we go? Sure. Come along, John.
Mr. Fisher, I'm to get sick. The other time is on myself. You're giving yourself a tough assignment, Captain. Why, I... Oh, he doesn't mean it that way. <laughs> He's just ridding you. Somebody's trying to attract your attention at that window up there. 